Praise the Lord, and welcome to another TMCI Word of Encouragement. This is the third part of our captivating series, Dress for Battle. Our scripture text has been in Ephesians, the sixth chapter, verses 10 through 18. Today, we will discuss the fourth piece of the armor of God, the shield of faith, which we, as a united body of believers, must collectively take up. The first pieces of armor are attached to the body, but the shield of faith must be taken up so that we can quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, the devil. Some of these fiery darts are doubting thoughts, which if not, if not guarded against, can weaken our faith. Blasphemous words are words that fill the mind and cause one to be mentally discouraged, depressed, and defeated. We must be vigilant against such attacks. Fiery darts can arouse desires and passion. Can they can destroy peace, cause persecution, and experience antagonistic people are adverse circumstances. The shield of faith is the ability to quickly apply our belief in God's word to everything the devil does or what he attempts to do. Why? Because we walk by faith and not by sight. The fifth piece of God's armor is the helmet of salvation. The helmet of salvation protects our mind and understanding. The enemy, he attacks our mind by telling us that our struggles are in vain and that we should give up on our faith. This causes us to become weary in well-doing. The helmet of salvation is the hope of salvation, knowing that God will complete the work he started in us and nothing, I say nothing, can separate us from his love. Amen. Hallelujah. The sixth piece of God's armor is the sword of the spirit, which we refer to as the word of God, the Bible. The sword of the spirit, it differs from every other piece of armor in three ways. It does not protect any part of the body, and it is a defensive and offensive weapon. In Matthew, the fourth chapter, verses 4 through 10, Jesus used scripture to resist the temptation of the devil. And saints, that is exactly what we are supposed to do. We are to use the Bible, the sword of the spirit, the word of God to stand against error and false teaching. Then Paul says, finally, my brothers, pray always. Prayer is essential to standing against the wiles of the devil. Prayer is not an additional thought, but part of God's armor. The Bible tells us in Luke, the 18th chapter, verse 1, that men should always pray and not faint. Prayer keeps us in touch with our Lord and Savior. Now, all the armor of God should lead us to prayer. Amen. Each piece represents our relationship with God, which should drive us to pray. Remember, God has given us everything we need to stand against the devil and his attacks. He has equipped us to be victorious, glory. So my brothers and sisters, get dressed for the battle by putting on the whole armor of God. Let me leave you with this from Numbers, the sixth chapter, verses 24 through 26. It says, the Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift his countenance upon you and give you peace. God bless you and thank you for your time. Hi, I'm Douglas Wilson with Walking on the Word Ministries. Thank you so much for watching TMCI TV. We hope you enjoyed and were blessed with this week's Tuesday Encouragement. You can help us share the good news by liking, subscribing, and turning on your notifications. This will help you keep up with the latest news and newest episodes. 
Be sure to join us for a new Tuesday encouragement every Tuesday on TMCI TV.